stress. You can deal with it. Don't allow stress to deal with you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching me from. And I said, God bless you. God bless you. And as I said, by the special grace of God, we are talking about how to deal with stress. And before we go into detail, shall we pray? Father, we thank you, we bless you, we exalt you for who you are. Be thou exalted, Lord Jesus, even as we are going to share your word. Let your word heal us in the name of Jesus. Let your word give us insight in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, as you have your way for in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Thank you all for coming, for always passing by. By the special grace of God, as I said, we are talking about how to deal with stress. And one by one thing I want you to know that stress is a feeling that comes from under pressure. Stress is a feeling that comes from under pressure. Hallelujah. And as far that we are living here on earth, it can happen. It can happen. Get ready. Just prepare yourself because when, he, when you prepare yourself, when it comes, you can be able to do what to stand. Hallelujah. I don't know the kind of stress that you are passing through, but I would, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is that you can actually deal with that stress. Don't allow stress to deal with you. Don't allow stress to take an advantage of you. Don't allow stress to bring you down. Because why? When you allow stress to, to, when you allow stress to take an advantage of you, it will lead to depression. And when it leads to depression, anybody that is under depression cannot be able to do well, cannot be able to think well. So you need to avoid anything that will cause you, that will cause you stress. So stressing yourself unnecessarily. And number one thing I want us to know, we're talking about how to deal with stress. Don't put yourself under pressure. And don't allow people to put you under pressure. Don't put yourself under pressure. Don't live somebody's life. Live your life. Don't be in a competition with anybody. Because when you live a life of a competition, you will end up like. Live a life that you can afford. Live a life that you can afford. Don't live somebody's life. Don't live on somebody's life. So that you don't put yourself under pressure. Because when you put yourself under pressure, before you know it, you begin to have this uh, stress. Before you know it, that stress will lead to depression and you will cause more harm. You will cause more harm to your health. You are causing more problems to your health. So avoid it. Life. Live your own life. Live your own life. That is number one. Number two, the number two, two I want you to know, stop watching or listening to anything negative. Stop watching and listening to anything negative. Be positive. There are people you you listen to some you listen to something in social media before you know it you begin to react to it you are having headache in another mass in another you are taking a parasite in another in another mass headache it is not good for your head why will you go and sit down and watch something that we that we that we know that will make you unhappy you begin to read stories that will make you unhappy you are causing more damage to yourself you are causing more harm to yourself. Avoid it, including those on social media. Avoid it, especially those on social media. Stop drinking Panadol for another person's health. Ache. It will help you. Avoid it. Try as much as possible to avoid it. That is number two. Number three, talk to somebody that's about it. When you have this heavy heart, when you have a heavy heart, something is bothering you. Learn how to share it out. Share with somebody. There is this saying that says, a problem share is half solved. Share to some people, at least the people that is a faith with you. Share with them. I know somebody will say, I wish faith. Wish faith. Because even the life that we are living, I, I struggle, I understand that you don't even know who to trust. Even so-called uh, men and women of God, you can't even trust them. You can't trust anybody. But the truth is that out of 10, at least there will be no, there will be two or three. Look for those two or three. Look for them and share with them. Because there is a need for you to share that thing that is bothering you. Don't keep it on yourself. Because when you keep it to yourself, a time will come that you will explode. It will lead to something else. So this is very, very important when you are passing through difficulties, when, you are, when your heart is heavy, learn how to share. Look for somebody to share with. And as you do that, God will bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. Number three. Number three. Take good care of yourself. It's very important. Take very good care of yourself. Because health, they say, is wealth. 
health that say is what is very very important take good care of yourself but not allow any little thing to stress you people are stressed any little thing you are saying stop the anxiety stop it it will help you any little thing you are stressed up learn how to make yourself happy learn how to make yourself what happy take good care of yourself health is wealth health is wealth that is number four number five avoid alcohol avoid alcohol it is very very important avoid alcohol because there are people there are people that live when they are passing through difficulty they will say ah, when i take alcohol i will be fine when i take alcohol i will, I will be okay the truth is you might be okay at that particular time but the truth is that when that alcohol is over when your eyes are clear that problem remains unsolved that problem remains the same so what's the need what is the essence of taking you drinking yourself to stupor and at the end there is no result and at the end it did not change any situation the situation remains the same the people say ah when i take cigarettes ah oh, my fine. dear that problem we see remains the same it will not change anything rather you are causing more damage to your health you are causing more problem to your health you are causing more problems to your health learn how to avoid all those alcohol whatsoever when you are passing through difficulties it it, it can't help you there is no way it can help you. I have not seen that say alcohol solve a problem. It will not solve any problem. That problem will still remain the same. The only thing you need, you need to deal with it. You deal with the problem, not by use, not by drinking alcohol. Alcohol will not take it away. Alcohol will not solve the problem. It will not solve it. Hallelujah. It will solve it. It will solve it. The last but not the least. The last but not the least, don't take the promise of God. Don't, don't forget, I mean, don't forget the promise of God in your life. God has promised you according to the book of Isaiah 41, number 10. The Bible says that, it says, it says fear not. In that situation, fear not. In the midst of trouble, fear not. Fear not. Don't be dismayed. I mean, don't be discouraged. I am with you. In the midst of that deep ocean, Jesus is with you. In the midst of that situation, he is with you. It's hard time for you to believe that you are not alone in that situation. That Jesus is alive to see you through that difficulty. To see you, to, to carry you out from that ocean that you find yourself. Jesus is able. If you know this in your heart, there is no need for you to be stressful. If you believe that you are not alone, that Jesus is with you, you will not be stressful. He said, don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. I will help you. I will help you and I will raise you up with my righteous right hand. Hallelujah. If you know the promise of God, he said, the thought that I have for you is such good not of evil. The thought of God for you is such good not of evil that will lead you to an expected end begin to have that is the only thing that you can solve problem the word of god put the word of god in your mind put the word of god inside of you anytime that you are passing through difficulty begin to remember the promise of god in your life how god said that he's going to help you as god says i should not be afraid as god says that in the midst of trouble say call upon me that i will answer you when you remember all these things you will have all those stress will be far away from you avoid stress Avoid stress and don't lay on your own wisdom. Don't lay on your own understanding. According to the book of Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 5. Your knowledge will fail you. Your understanding will fail you. The only thing that will not fail you is the word of God. God will never fail you. Don't put your trust in men. The men that will put you under pressure. Don't put your trust in a man or a woman that will put you under pressure. Put your trust in the Lord. In the Lord, you will find peace. In the Lord, you will find joy. In the Lord, you will find rest of mind. Hallelujah. He said, trust in me with all your heart. Trust in me with all your heart. The reason is because it can do all things. Hallelujah. 
He can do all things. There is nothing he cannot do. And I believe as you have heard this thing today, God Almighty will help you to put in the practice so that that spirit of stress will be far away from you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. I really do appreciate you all. And I say God Almighty will meet you all in the point of your need in Jesus name. But before I go, I want to pray with you. My Father and my God, I thank you and I bless you for the life of this one that is hearing and that is going to hear the sound of my voice, Lord Jesus. Is there anyone here passing, de passing through depression? Is there anyone here passing through stress? And I pray Lord Jesus uh, that you heal that son and remove that spirit of stress and this depression out of their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. God bless you. Do have a blessed day. And wherever you are watching me from, I say, God is coming very soon. Be wise. Till I come your way some other time. I remain my humble self, Evangelist Silver Benson. Bye-bye.